I'm just bringing to you one of the simplest method of drafting a basic body. So this is me officially wishing every one of you a happy and prosperous new year. I pray that the blessings that God has for us in this year would not elude any of us. We're going to be partakers of all the good things that you know God has for us in the year 2023. So with that being said, I want to officially welcome you to this tutorial video. Uh, this is basically a pattern drafting of the basic bodies um, especially for my beginners and even if you already know how to draft a basic body that this particular tutorial is so simplified that if you have a method you already use that this is one of the most simplified method of drafting a basic body so whether you are a beginner or you already know how to draft a basic body I'm just bringing to you one of the simplest method of drafting a basic body please don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like and put up your notifications to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you and let's dive right into the business of the day In drafting a basic body for a simple blouse, I'll first of all be marking out the length of the blouse, and the length of this blouse is 25 inches plus um, additional two inches seam allowance. Okay, so a total of 27 inches in length. So from here to here is the length of the blouse. Meanwhile, this is going to be our center fold, okay? So on this side, your fabric is going to be folded into two. That's on this part, you fold it into two along this part. So this actually is the center fold. So next, I'm going to be marking out all our vertical measurements. And by vertical measurements, I mean all the measurements from the shoulder downwards. So those are vertical. That's from the shoulder coming all the way down. That's our vertical measurement. And in this case, the vertical measurement includes the armhole length, the breast point, the under bust, the half waist length and of course the blouse length that we already got so i'm going to be marking out all those and for the armhole i'm going to be using the length of 8.75 and just in case you don't know how to achieve your armhole to get your armhole length you divide your bust measurement by five inches and add one inch to it okay so the bust measurement here is 38 inches by the time i divided into five gave me about 7.6 and then I add one to give me 8.6. So I approximate to 8.75. Or you can approximate to the nearest whole number, which is 9 in this case. And next, I'll be marking out the breast point length, which is 10 inches plus half an inch to give me 10.5. And then the under bust measurement is 14 inches plus half an inch to give me 14.5. And the half waist length is 17 inches plus half an inch to give me 17.5. Okay. Here I have the armhole, the breast point, the under bust, the half waist length, and of course the blouse length on this point. The next thing to do is to get our shoulder measurement. And to get your shoulder, you're going to be dividing your shoulder into two inches plus one inch. You can use half an inch, but preferably one inch. So it is always better you have your allowances in excess than you know, running short of allowances. And the shoulder here is 15 inches when divided by 2 is 7.5 plus 1 inch to give 8.5. So I'm going to be marking from the center fold outward like so. I'm going to be marking 8.5 which is the shoulder measurement divided by 2 plus 1 inch. And that is going to be terminating at the armhole length, okay? So I'm going to be connecting with a straight line. Next, I'm going to be marking out the armhole curve. And to get that done, I'm going to be dividing this length by 2. So the total of whatever I have here, I proceed to divide it by 2. And here is it. And then at this midpoint of the armhole length, I mark half an inch inward like so. So I'm going to be connecting the armhole doing that. And to get exactly where the armhole is going to be con um, terminating on this point, um, you go ahead to divide the bust measurement by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance. And the bust here is um, 38 divided by 4 to give us 9.5 plus 2 inches to give us 11.5. From the center fold, I'm going to be marking 11.5. So this is exactly where the armhole is going to be terminating on the armhole line. I use the curve rule. You can use your free hand, please, so it's not compulsory. I'm going to be using it to connect the points together. 
So here I have the armhole. And the next thing basically is to divide all our body circumference measurement by four plus seam allowance, okay? So I'm going to be dividing all the body circumference measurements. And when I talk about body circumference measurement, I'm talking about every measurement that goes around the body. Some of which are the bust, the under bust round, the waist, the hip and all that, okay? So for starting with the bust, I'm going to be dividing the bust by four. And the bust here is 38 inches divided by four to give us 9.5 plus one inch or 1.5 inch seam allowance, depending on how much fabric you have, okay? So I'm going to be adding just one inch, so to give me 10.5. And then at the under bust, I'm going to be marking the under bust round divided by four. In this case, I'm going to be adding that allowance and then the seam allowance, okay? So the under bust round here is 32 inches when divided by four will give us eight inches plus one inch that allowance which is nine plus one inch seam allowance which is ten okay and then at the half waist length i'm going to be marking the waist measurement which is also 32 in this case so i divide by four to give eight inches plus one inch that allowance okay and then one inch seam allowance and then coming down to the blouse length area i'm going to be dividing the hip measurement by four and the hip here is a 44 inches divided by four to give us 11 inches plus one inch seam allowance to give us 12 inches, okay? So here is the hip measurement. So at the blouse length, I'm going to be coming up by 1.5 inch, okay? So this, what we have here, I mark it at this 1.5 inch. So I can have a curve at the side lower part of the blouse. I don't want it straight and pointy. We want to have, you know, a very good looking curve at the end of the day. That's be connecting all these points all the way to this point. Please, if you're a beginner and you don't have this, you can do without it so it's not compulsory. But I'm just doing this just because I have it at my disposal. You can see that I connected it to this point, not the last one. And next, I'm going to be connecting this point to somewhere here. And to get the point where this point is going to be meeting this point, I'm going to be marking about 5 to 5.5 inches. So this is 5.5. And then I connect from here to this point. This is what we have. In summary, at the breast point, you mark your bust measurement divided by four plus seam allowance. At the under bust, you mark your under bust round divided by four plus seam allowance. At the half waist, you mark your waist measurement divided by four plus your seam allowance. At the blouse length, you mark your hip measurement divided by four plus your seam allowance. Okay, I hope that is well understood. So next, I'm going to be marking out the neckline and for the neckline, it depends on the choice of your neckline. But in this case, I'm going to be using a round neckline of 3 inches width and 2.5 inches deep. The width of the neckline, 3 inches, and the depth, 2.5 inches. So I'm going to be connecting both points. Here's our neckline. Next, I'm going to be marking out the shoulder slant. And this is because the shoulder is not straight. It is slanted in nature. So I come down by 1 inch on this side and then I connect to this point and at the base of the neckline I come out by half an inch okay so I'm going to be connecting this point to this point with a slanted straight line so the last thing for us to do is to mark out the dart line for the blouse and to get your dart line you're going to be using your breast distance measurement and the breast distance measurement in this case is um 7.5 inches so you add one inch to that 7.5 inches which is going to give us 8.5 inches with, and you further divide by two to give me four one quarter okay so i'm going to be marking four one quarter from the center fold outward like so so this is now our dart line i connect with a straight line at the under bust, I'm going to be marking half an inch between this dart line and I'm going to be doing the same thing at the half waist length. So I place my tape rule, I mark half inch on this side and half inch on this other side. I come down to the half waist length, I do the same thing, half inch on this side and half inch on this side. I'm going to be connecting these points together with a straight line and then I connect to the breast point like so. and I connect back to the blouse length. Our dart is ready and basically our basic bodies for our simple blouse for the front is ready. So we are going to be proceeding to drafting the back pattern. To get the back pattern drafted, I'm going to be extending all these our points to this point.
to get your back pattern drafted as quickly as possible what you just do is you take your pattern paper like so or your fabric and then you fold over remember this is our center fold right please take notes this is the center fold this is the line i ruled i fold on that point you can see that at the front of the center fold for the front i have some allowances here so i'm going to be marking out the zipper allowances from what i have here for your simple blouse basic body the zipper allowance should not be more than one to 1.5 inch seam allowance i'm going to be using one inch seam allowance for the zipper allowance and i connect all the points together at this center fold i'm going to be marking another line This is to indicate the zipper allowance. This one inch we have here is for the zipper allowance. I'm doing this because this is one of the simplest ways of cutting the back. And as far as I'm concerned, the faster, the better. So for the neckline, if you want your neckline to do the same thing as what you have on the front, you just, you know, extend the neckline to the zipper allowance. But if you want it higher than what you have at the front, then you go ahead. And that is what I want to do because I want the back neckline that's the depth of the neckline for the back i want it two inches so it's going to be higher than what we have you know going on at the front so for the neckline i'm going to be marking down two inches definitely the width of the neckline should be the same so i'm just going to be connecting this one back to this point this we have for the neckline of the back and then this one for the front for the armhole i'm not going to be curving it inward like this for the back i'm going to be curving that of the back you know like this which i'm going to be doing shortly but for the front you can see we came inward like this but for the back we are going to be coming like this this is for the back armhole and this is for the front armhole now it's time for me to cut the patterns and to get that done i'll first of all be cutting along the back pattern not the front patterns okay so all the patterns that indicate for the back is where i'm going to be following to cut first before i come back to cutting the front pattern You can see that the armhole, this is for the back and this is for the front. So I'm going to be cutting along the back. To cut the neckline, I'm going to be cutting everything together. But I'm going to be cutting along the back neckline. So basically, before I separate the back from the front, if this is a fabric, you just fold like so to get your dart line. You fold like this and then iron on this point so that you get your dart line reflecting on the back pattern as well or the fabric, okay? But because this is a pattern, I just leave it like so. And then I can now take out the front from the back. So let me now do the adjustment that I need to do to the front and then the separate adjustment for the back. And for the front, I will start with the armhole. I recut the armhole. And then I recut the neckline. And for the back, the only adjustment we need to do is to take out the excess that is going to be causing a bulge by the time you finish stitching your dress or your blouse. So at the under bust, I'm going to be coming in by half an inch or three quarter. I'm going to be using half an inch in this case. And then at the half waist length, I do the same thing. I mark half an inch. I connect these two points with a straight line. And then I get a cover. I take it up like so. I bring it down as well. So I'm going to be cutting this out. Basically, this is what we have for our simple blouse basic bodice pattern for the front and then the back. At this point, all you need to do is just place your pattern paper on your fabric and then cut exactly what you have on the pattern. Please do not add any other seam allowances because I've already added all of that to the pattern But by the time I was drafting already. So thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one. Bye!